birdies have come out. Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Picked a good spot, eh? It was. Crown lifting these oaks because of the height of the yurt. Yeah. Maybe that branch uh, just run up. Take that. There's a couple of hangers in that one, a few little bits of dead. One broken one in this oak over this way with these two to lift up but keeping the cover on that side try and lift this pine on this side as well even though it's growing away from it yeah the crown lift just basically means yeah take, take two or three of the lower branches off and um might have to take that branch off there as well for the top of the year yeah. what height is that it's got a, uh, i think what? it's about three meters a year so that needs to come off really because it's nearly over the center yeah they'll be far enough away same with these and then level out to near enough the boundary you want to put about a meter around it extra yeah so you can walk around it easier yeah exactly yeah but that's the high point by that hawthorn yeah so it looks like this is gonna have to get built up slightly and i'll dig down as far as i can until i start finding roots from the trees around here So I know this is a pain and you're going to hate me for asking. Is it possible to leave these a bit high, like cut them a bit higher up? Yes. Is that a pain? Not too much. I mean, I've looked here, we've actually got some regrowth on this one. Even okay. though all the tops did, I don't think it's going to last forever. But uh, at least we'll have the stems as we're looking this way. Yeah, that's what I think. It still keeps a bit of a screen, doesn't it, even though they're dead? Yeah. Well, this is wobbly. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I just went back, I thought, hmm, that was more than me leaning back. Right, uh. You just love to piss me off at the moment, don't you? Like? I sensible person who made the ladder. Ben? I never said I was sensible. 
Come on, all I'm waiting for is a shot of it falling off, that's it. This side it puts it. Yeah. That's actually a lot better. It is, yeah. It goes high enough, I think. Yeah. But don't forget, it's, it's also tire, good. so it's going to be about there, yeah. And it's also going to probably be for kids, and so they're going yeah. to be like that. Yeah. Instead of like that. Yeah. And that's all right, that. Okay. So Nick's busy clearing the area for the yurt. That's basically a whole eight meter circle that needs to be relatively level. And then we're gonna to go to the quarry, get some gravel to fill that so it's got a nice base. Me and Cameron have been basically trying to clear this whole area outside the front of the chateau so that this week we can get it cut, leveled, and it's all nice and neat from the gate all the way to the chateau.
We're absolutely demolishing this clear up today. <laughs> Whoa. It's big. It's like properly massive. I called it a helipad earlier to Nick. He wasn't impressed. <laughs> he is a, he's good on that digger, isn't he? So that's like roughly leveled out, but you know, actually it's pretty level. So tomorrow I'm meeting Nick at the quarry. We're going to get a load of gravel, start dumping it in there, whacker it down. So there's a nice solid base, bit of membrane down, and then we can start kind of building the floor. Uh, yeah, super cool. Absolutely battling through the rest of it. Oh, I kind of started a little seesaw project. You know, not that I want to get too distracted, but anyway, that's for later. But hopefully by the end of the week, all this will be clear right down to the gate. Along with Cameron, I've been working on clearing the forest and getting some decent paths through. So, well, so we can explore, but so we can see what's there and what work needs to be done. And a few mysterious little walks. Let's go down this one. Yeah, it goes down pretty far, but there's an exciting thing here. Nick has put up a little trail cam because we've seen kind of a few trails going through here. Kind of one there. So hopefully we get some good footage from that. Then I kind of cut a long path, goes right the way up through kind of comes out by the hammock and then the chateau you know it's been quite nice just some like outdoor work i haven't had much chance to just mow and stream and have a good tidy up it's been a nice change so tomorrow i'm going to help nick with the gravel but after that i'm back on the i-beams and we're getting this next floor in and then we can start repairing the wall to get the roof on but yeah nice change of pace it's nice to get prepped it's nice to just tackle some other areas and make the whole grounds look nice, you know? So, I'll see you at the quarry first thing tomorrow.